Hey, what's up, guys? So, um, haven't made a video in a real long time. So, um, actually, had a bunch of car issues. Just haven't had a chance to actually make any videos. When stuff breaks, I just try to fix it and keep going. I've been working a lot, um, but I figured uh, the truck behind me has been the truck of hell. Uh, literally every single thing that you can think of um, has broke is broke on this thing. Um, so I figured, hey. Today was one of those days where I was just trying to fix one thing and uh, another thing broke just randomly. Uh, so I figured, you know what, let's just do a video and maybe I'll do more videos as it goes uh, concerning this truck. Now, this is a 01 F-150 with a 5.4 liter uh, two-wheel drive long bed. Uh, picked it up for super cheap at an auction. Um, and. Uh, I was originally fixing the IAC, which I'll do a video of that also, uh, the I, um, uh, idle air control valve. So when the vehicle is idling, you'll hear a humming noise, like a type of humming noise. Um, and uh, when I looked online, it said it was idle air control valve. Uh, I kind of was able to verify that, so I was going to switch that out, and that was going to be a video today. It's two bolts, swaps out, should have been easy. Uh, instead, when where the idle air control valve is, I reached in there. And, and as I was trying to get the uh, wrench in to uh, take the two bolts off, I moved the uh, heater core coolant hose and it just snapped, just snapped off. Let me show you. So, this, is, this is the hose that goes from the intake manifold here uh, at the front of the intake manifold and this runs on the passenger side of the vehicle runs um, runs to the heater core, to the firewall. So this has a quick disconnect, if you can see that, right? Uh, so this goes like this. So this snapped when I uh, attempted to push, push it over. So obviously you can't drive the vehicle with a, a huge coolant leak. So um, I looked on Rock Auto. Uh, Rock Auto actually has this replacement part for about 14 bucks and obviously shipping. But because this is my daily driver, although I do have the two Mustangs and the Nova, I use this as my uh, daily driver because I don't want to put miles on the other car. So need to fix this today, not uh, in three to five business days of shipping. So I went to my local auto parts store and I was able to get regular heater hose right and the GM I don't know if that'll show it I don't know if that's a good view or not but essentially it's just a quick disconnect um, about 10 bucks for this uh, which hurt because I knew I could have got the whole hose the correct hose for the vehicle for probably about 15 bucks uh, maybe a little more with shipping uh, if you were to try to buy this hose um, at your local auto parts, at least O'Reilly's, they wanted 54 bucks for this, so that was a no. So essentially, what I'm going to do is just take take heater hose, it'll slide this in there. Now I'm gonna. You're supposed to stop right here where the lip is, uh, but I'm gonna actually squeeze it all the way on top so it's flush like that and then I'll take it. I'm going to get uh, right. then I will take my clamp slide it all the way through here while I was up, I should have grabbed a flathead screwdriver, no. and flathead screwdriver, and we'll just bolt it down. Got to make sure that your clamp is um, at a good spot, so I can feel the bottom of that nipple that I was showing you earlier is right there, so I know that's right there in the center. And we'll just tighten it. So I'm gonna have to cut this to length, but I want to go ahead and get it connected to the heater core 
and then I can cut it to length uh, toward the manifold. So it's not going to have the same bends as an original one, so it's going to look a little different, but it's going to work. Uh, now I don't know what the actual price of this hose is, because uh, a guy gave it to me for free at the auto store, uh, probably a couple bucks. So if this was ten dollars, this is probably another three or four dollars, probably or something of that nature. But by the way, that's how quick you can connect it. And let's um, let's show you the truck. All right, so if you can see if I can get a good view back there. I don't know if that's a good view. There's a pipe. Let me try this. FYI, I shoot all these on my phone, so that's why they look crazy. That's because I'm not a professional video maker, so it looks crazy. Sorry about it. So that pipe that you can see there that's next to the other one, that's where we're going to connect it. Uh, so let me pause this and then I can connect it because it's kind of a pain. So give me one second. Alright, so let's see if I can get some light here. Alright, so that was actually more of a pain in the butt than I thought it was. Um, but if I can show you, it's on there now. Get a good view in there. The now on there. Uh, that quick disconnect uh, one, if you do have to pull it off, uh, you do want to make sure that that little white piece that was on there, I should have uh, showed you before I put it on, but if you look at the beginning of the video, you'll see that that uh, quick disconnect, the new one, uh, has a little white piece on there. So there's, um, when I pulled <coughs> this one off, the white piece isn't there. It was still on the heater hose. So you wanna make sure that um, you pop that off first. Once you pop it off, then slide that on, um, and then it'll go on. It's kind of, kind of a pain. Kinda of make sure that it's all the way on there. But now all I gotta do is come back over here, and we're gonna just cut this to, to size. So I'm just gonna run it, because it goes on this pipe. So I'm just gonna cut it to size, so it'll probably pop up something like, run something like that there, is what I'm figuring, or maybe a little length to, to run to the side. Maybe it'll run to the side. Uh, so let me do that, and then I'll come back and give you the last part of the video. And there you go. I didn't want this to be very long, it's about eight minutes, so hopefully we get about 10 minutes. Hopefully it'll be about 10 minutes and that's it. Pretty simple, pretty easy, but, um, just another dumb thing with this truck. All right, so as you can see now, uh, heater hose is on. Uh, cut it to length there. I had to cut off about that much uh, in the cut, but there you go. F-150 5.4 heater hose snap fix. All done. Uh, really realistically, Probably cost me about 15 bucks. Easy money.